Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back. So, now we will try to see uh, how uh, when government is intervening into the market uh, through imposition of the uh, some tax, how it is distorting or whether it is distorting or whether it is uh, helping the society to uh, generate some additional welfare or something like that, right. So, we are now discussing uh, government intervention through imposition of the some tax, right. So, suppose as usual suppose say suppose this is the quantity demanded, quantity supplied both we are measuring in the horizontal axis, vertical axis this price okay. and suppose this is ASS 1 is the supply curve, D D 1 is the demand curve okay. and say suppose uh, government is going to impose some tax say rupees T per unit or of the quantity okay. uh, per unit of the commodity government will impose rupees t amount of tax. So, we have exhaustively discussed that when government will impose this kind of tax what will happen okay. depending on whether tax is uh, imposed on producers or customers depending on that either demand curve will shift leftward or supply curve will shift leftward. If tax is imposed on to be let me remind you if tax is imposed on producers supply curve will shift leftward or shift upward okay. Alternatively it, if tax is imposed on the customers then demand curve will shift leftward or demand curve will shift downward okay. So, as a result what will happen quantity transaction will be cut down okay will, will, will fall. So, initially before if free market is allowed to operate or market is allowed to operate freely say O Q star amount of quantity can be transacted in that market and each each unit of that commodity will be transacted at O P star level of price right. Now, government impose some tax. So, what will happen that uh, due to tax uh, suppose this is rupees tax is the rupees T per unit of the commodity right. So, we told that the, uh, irrespective of the whether tax is imposed on customers or sellers does not matter quantity transaction will fall to that extent where old demand curve and old supply curve what was there in the market demand curve and supply curve right their vertical distance should be exactly this this amount okay up to that extent say q 1 star up to that extent quantity transacted will be reduced okay. So, this distance is basically rupees t okay that distance is rupees t right. Now, look at here what is happening suppose this was the initial equilibrium without imposition of the tax before the imposition of the tax by the government right and say suppose this is I am telling p 1 star this is p 2 star okay say suppose m n ok. So, if uh, this market is allowed to operate freely consumer surplus the triangular area d e p star that could be the consumer surplus triangular area s e p star that could be the producer surplus and they are some D E S that is also a triangular area that could be the total social surplus okay amount of the social welfare generated through the free transaction of the uh, producers and customers in the market right. Now, when government is imposing this amount of tax per unit quantity of the commodity okay. So, that time consumer surplus is reduced to triangular area D m p 1 star this is the consumer surplus and it is reduction of this consumer surplus if we compare this to it is a reduced consumer surplus is reduced by 
ओके कंज्यूमर सरप्लस ओके सो दिस प्राइस दिस प्राइस इज पी स्टार राइट सो वी कैन सी दैट रिडक्शन इन ओके ओके सो दिस इज द कंज्यूमर सरप्लस एंड दिस इज द प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस विल बी इन आफ्टर द इम्पोजिशन ऑफ द टैक डी एम पी वन स्टार येस कंज्यूमर सरप्लस एंड प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस विल बी एस एन पी टू स्टार दैट विल बी द प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस एंड टोटल सोशल सरप्लस विल बी सम ट्रेपिज काइंड ऑफ एरिया सम ट्रेपिज काइंड ऑफ एरिया दैट विल बी नो दैट विल बी द सम ऑफ दिस प्लस दिस विल बी द टोटल सरप्लस सोशल सरप्लस ओके नाउ सो कंज्यूमर सरप्लस इज फॉलिंग बाय हाउ मच अमाउंट सो रिडक्शन इन कंज्यूमर सरप्लस इज बेसिकली पी वन स्टार एम ई पी स्टार दैट अमाउंट सो दिस रेड कलर बॉर्डर एरिया दैट इज द रिडक्शन इन कंज्यूमर सरप्लस राइट एक्जैक्ट द सेम वे रिडक्शन इन प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस इज दिस ब्लू कलर बॉर्डर एरिया सो दैट इज बेसिकली पी टू स्टार एन ई पी स्टार ओके दैट इज द रिडक्शन इन द प्रोड्यूसर सरप्लस सो टोटल रिडक्शन इन द सरप्लस दैट एरिया इज दिस काइंड ऑफ लुकिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ एरो काइंड ऑफ लुकिंग एरिया राइट सो आउट ऑफ दैट सो सो दिस मच ऑफ द सरप्लस इज गेटिंग रिड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू इम्पोजिशन ऑफ द टैक्स बाय द गवर्नमेंट राइट नाउ आउट ऑफ दैट लुक एट हियर सो सो फॉल इन सोशल सरप्लस सो that area is basically that area is basically p1 star m e n p2 star this area right p1 star m e n p2 star this area is the total fall in both consumer surplus and producer surplus together so that is the total fall in the social surplus okay so this is the fall in social surplus is this much right now if we if we look at this part okay we can break this thing into some of the two components one component is p1 star m n p2 star plus m e n so th this area is the this rectangular area is this p1 star m n p2 star this is m m n p2 star okay and this this yellow color this area that is basically m e n okay now look at here this rectangular area right this rectangular area yellow color rectangular area in the diagram right what is that that is basically this is the tax amount imposed on per unit of the transaction of the commodity right and after the tax imposition this much of transaction is happening right so p2 star n this much of transaction is happening so we can tell this area is the total tax revenue tax revenue total how much government is gaining so go government is imposing some tax right so after the imposition of the tax how much tax money government is earning through that tax mechanism right so that money amount is this okay so look at here although total consumer uh, total social surplus or total welfare of the society is fallen by this arrow kind of area okay and its one section this yellow color this yellow shaded section is coming back to the society in terms of tax revenue because government is getting some tax no that tax money what government will do perhaps government will uh, do some kind of uh, social spending 
or maybe some uh, investment in the construction of road, hospital, school, something like that, right? So, government, whatever amount of money government is extracting from this society in terms of tax, government will spend that money into some other sector of the society, right? So, in that way, we are telling that this much money is coming back to the society in terms of tax revenue, right? But look at here M E N, this, this triangular, this triangular area, say this red color triangular area, okay? This much money is lost, or this much of surplus is lost. That surplus is go are going where? We do not know where it is going. Actually, it is not. So, when we are telling this much surplus is lost, a lost visa is what could be generated within the society if government do not intervene into the market through taxation mechanism, right, in that way. So, uh, after the taxation, after the imposition of the tax, some amount of money or total amount of loss in the social welfare is this much, this much. But a portion of that, this much is coming back to the society in terms of time tax revenue. But this is the net loss to the society. Okay, so that is why this loss is called dead weight loss. Very important concept. Dead weight loss. Dead weight G H T. W E I G H T. Dead weight loss. Okay. This dead weight loss is the net loss to the society due to this taxation mechanism, right? So, this loss is a social welfare loss, okay? And we are seeing that basic message what we are getting, let us summarize, does not matter whether government is intervening into the market through this side or that side and whatever form, this side two forms, let me summarize, one is the rationing, government is putting some upper limit beyond that no, no consumption or no transaction is allowed, even rationing mechanism or maybe through some kind of uh, subsidized mechanism, government is forcing to go to transaction to little bit more than the what could be happening in the free market situation, right? Both the cases government is distorting total social surplus or total amount of welfare through the market mechanism what is generated within the society is coming down. Not only that is the case, this side also if government intervene either through imposition of some price floor or price ceiling binding kind of course, okay, or through imposition of some tax, okay, government is only distorting the market, okay. Or not government who is um, usually most of the countries it is government otherwise it is a country authority, okay, monetary authority or economic authority who is intervening into this free market right in this different ways right. Price floor, price ceiling or imposition of some tax or quantity side rationing or forced mode transaction through subsidized mechanism. Whatever way uh, authority is going to intervene into the market, it creates some sort of distortion only and social welfare will be lost, some extent it will be lost. Okay? And in this particular case, imposition of the tax, whatever the net loss society is uh, incurring that is called dead weight loss. Now, this dead weight loss, you can understand that the, let us, let us try to understand this dead weight loss a little bit. So, if I draw the diagram is little phrase this was the demand curve, this was the supply curve and this was the initial free market equilibrium price level okay? and after the tax. Okay? So, O this is E point, this was the P star point, this is say P 1 star point and this is say P 2 star point. Okay? After the imposition of the tax, P 1 star, P 2 star that is the tax amount per unit, right? tax per unit quantity, quantity, it is quantity tax, right? we have clarified that earlier, okay? tax per unit quantity. Okay? So, that tax amount is P 1 star P 2 star amount, right? vertical distance. So, after the imposition of the tax, transaction will be O say Q 1 star only, okay? which could be O Q star if government do not intervene into the uh, market through taxation mechanism, right? Through this tax policy, 
right. So, this much O Q star will be the transaction amount after the tax, it has two equilibrium prices we have clarified that earlier today we can also clarify O P 1 star that is the price level what consumers are paying per unit of that commodity okay. and O P 2 star is that is the price level what producers are getting per unit of the commodity okay. and the gap between this O P 1 star and O P 2 star basically P 1 star P 2 star that is the amount of tax government is gaining per unit of transaction of that commodity right. So, although this blue color area is the loss in the social surplus total welfare reduction out of that this this uh, so initially it was green color green color this is the total loss this 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 the total loss out of that this blue color shaded area is coming back to the society in terms of tax revenue. Okay. And this yellow color shaded area, this, 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 this kind of area, right? The triangular kind of area is the net loss of the society. If we break that net loss of the society, how? So, this is the this is the net loss of the society, right? This was the E point, equilibrium point, right? If we break that loss, this portion that net loss is called deadweight loss, right? That is the deadweight loss amount, DWL. Right. So, out of that this dead or loss that upper triangular area, upper triangular area this red color kind of triangular area that is the dead or loss generated due to less participation of the consumers in the market. Why less participation? Look if government do not intervene the tax or impose the tax price could be this level this much of consumers could participate into the market up to Q star amount after the imposition of the tax price level little bit increases what consumer has to pay due to that increment in price this much of customers are going out of the market they cannot participate into the market at that increased price level after the taxation. Okay. So, as a result due to less participation or due to under consumption under means less under consumption due to under consumption this upper this portion of the dead weight loss is generated okay and this green portion this portion is this is also a, another part of the dead weight loss this portion is generated due to under production or less production why less production look if there is no tax this much sellers are also there who could be able to participate. After the taxation although consumers are paying more price than the otherwise equilibrium price, sellers are getting less price than the otherwise they could get in the free market equilibrium. right? So, since sellers are getting less price now sellers are getting this price and consumers are paying this price. right? So, sellers are getting less price as a result this many sellers are there who cannot no longer tolerate at that much uh, lower price which sellers are getting after the imposition of the tax. right? So, that is why some sellers are going out of the market due to this tax imposition and as a result this lower portion this green colored portion green shaded portion this is the part of dead oil loss which is generated due to under production of the some of the producers. right? So, total dead weight loss or total net loss to the society what we can generate that we can or what is generated within this market okay, that we are classifying into two groups a portion is uh, dead weight loss due to under consumption by the consumers and remaining portion is dead weight loss due to under production by the uh, some of the producers. right? Now, uh, this dead weight loss and tax revenue when government is imposing we have we have introduced earlier right say uh, some political question we raised in the class right. So, which commodity uh, government should choose to impose the tax right there is a there is a debate kind of thing we are getting apparent feeling that it should be luxurious commodity right because uh, it will not affect major uh, 
portion of the society because luxury commodity few few people only consume them right but it has its counterpart implication right that we have discussed that we will discuss here in a much more elaborate now okay so now the let us let us introduce uh, two uh, important diagram so if so dead or loss is a loss to the society net loss to the society right so if say suppose we want to measure say size of the tax this side size of the tax this side and this side say uh, dead weight loss okay amount of dead weight loss how much it is generated look at here if we go back to this diagram when size of the tax is zero at this point there is no tax right size of the tax is zero there, that time there is no dead weight loss right the entire this amount of the social surplus is generated when size of the tax is this this is per unit that time dead weight loss is represented by this triangle when size of the tax this is per unit that time dead weight loss is this this triangle right in that way if the size of the tax is this per unit what will be the dead weight loss definitely this red color triangular area right so this big triangular area right so as size of the tax is increasing dead weight loss is increasing much more faster rate not only that if government impose some size of the tax this per unit right the entire this triangular area could be the dead weight loss okay if this is the demand curve and this is the supply curve still there in the market right so if we try to capture that into a diagram if we plot the size of the tax on major size of the tax in the horizontal axis and amount of dead weight loss in the vertical axis perhaps we will get this kind of diagram right when tax size is zero this is the origin o so when tax size is zero dead weight loss is also zero so as tax size is increasing the rate at which tax size is increasing dead weight loss is increasing much more faster rate right so we will get this kind of increasing kind of curve right this is this is the convex curve convex to the origin right the this kind of uh, this kind of diagram means the rate at which the horizontal axis variable is increasing the vertical axis variable is increasing much more faster rate okay vis a vis if we have this kind of diagram so the rate at which horizontal axis variable is increasing vertical axis variable also is increasing but at a lower rate than this this increment rate horizontal axis variable increment rate okay so here we are seeing that dead weight loss is increasing much more faster rate than the tax tax size okay so exactly the same way if we measure tax size in the uh, size of the tax same thing if we measure here in the horizontal axis and tax revenue if we measure in the vertical axis look at here the diagram what we have drawn earlier this is the demand curve this is the supply curve demand curve supply curve when there is no tax no tax revenue if this is the tax size what is the tax revenue this area is the tax revenue if this is the tax size per unit say suppose green color this distance is the tax size per unit this green color rectangular area will be the tax revenue if this blue color this is the tax size per unit of the transaction of that commodity this blue color rectangular area will be the tax revenue and so on so look at here tax revenue when there is no tax tax revenue is also zero okay all these uh, different rectangles no red color rectangle then green color rectangle then blue color rectangle right these are all representing alternative tax revenue vis a vis the size of the tax when when this is the tax size this area is the tax revenue total tax revenue government is gaining when this is the tax size this green color rectangular area is the total tax revenue government is gaining money total tax amount of total amount of money government is gaining in terms of tax okay when blue color is the tax size per unit transaction of the commodity this rectangular kind of uh, area is the tax revenue. so look at here the limiting case if government impose this is the tax size per unit of transaction what will be the tax revenue will be zero because tax revenue what we are getting after the imposition of the tax per unit what is the size of the tax into this area this area when tax revenue what we are getting alternative area no that is the size of the tax and after the imposition of the tax how much quantity is transacted 
product of them right Th that product is representing by uh, represented by this alternative uh, rectangle uh, rectangles right uh, rectangular areas right so obviously so when tax per unit of tax is this size this is the transaction when this is the tax size per unit this is the transaction little bit cut in when this is the tax size per unit this is the transaction and so on right transaction is continuously getting cut and cut and cut and okay getting smaller and smaller after the imposition of the tax right so definitely if we measure the tax size in the horizontal axis and vertical axis amount of tax how much tax money government is going to get right so we will get this kind of one curve right this curve is called laffer curve very important concept laffer curve this laffer curve shows the relationship between tax size vis a vis tax revenue look this the alternative rectangular areas what we have demonstrated here in this panel of right you can understand that when tax size is zero that time tax revenue is also zero so both this curve and this curve both will start from the origin okay and then you can see here that tax revenue is increasing until a level and then after that even after that if uh, tax size increases okay it will fall okay so maybe we can turn that that perhaps given this kind of demand curve and this kind of supply curve perhaps this is the optimum tax size optimum tax size when we are telling here in which sense optimum because as you will increase the tax size per unit of the transaction of the commodity right more and more people will be unhappy okay who are getting uh, the uh, burden of the tax okay who are uh, getting the pinch of the tax right they will be unhappy right so as tax size is more they will be more and more unhappy right so government has to uh, 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 political party who forms the government by winning the election right they have to lose the popularity so government don't want to lose that much popularity but it has to earn some tax revenue to be uh, run the government so or government regular activities right so this is perhaps the suppose we can tell t star amount of tax or t star amount of tax that is ideal tax in the given this kind of demand supply scenario right why ideal because maximum amount of tax revenue government can gain by imposing this much of the tax per unit of the transaction right so in that way ideal tax or optimum tax we are telling okay anyway anyway uh, because government need money but government needs to set or objective of the government should be that as less as possible the tax it can set right that is why so uh, that is the thing so laffer curve is actually representing the uh, relationship size of the tax in the horizontal axis you are measuring and total tax revenue amount you are measuring vertical axis okay so we are getting this kind of inverted u kind of curve the curve must start from the origin and it will come down to the horizontal axis sometimes back and of course given this kind of demand supply scenario we can tell when this is the tax size that time tax revenue will zero so that distance and this distance is the same in this two diagram okay this distance vertical gap between the starting point in the vertical axis of the demand curve and supply curve and here in the horizontal axis where you are measuring tax when the from the origin to at the point when the laffer curve is coming back to the horizontal axis and touching the horizontal axis that distance and origin uh, that distance from the origin is the tax size this size are equivalent right now let us discuss that uh, this uh, dead weight loss we, we know that uh, it is a it is a net burden to the society uh, when government imposes some tax right now that dead weight loss uh, depends on what depends on of course look at here we are drawing a two side by side panel okay suppose both the cases we are we are doing the supply curve is both are unit elastic supply curve look at here supply curve is we are drawn the supply curve passing through the origin straight line passing through the origin supply curve it is unit elastic supply curve we have discussed sometimes back so quantity supplied quantity demanded both we are measuring in the horizontal axis price in the vertical axis exactly quantity demanded quantity supplied and price here ok suppose this is the demand curve one case another case suppose this is the demand curve ok ok so look at here 
if this is the demand curve, so two side by side panel here we have drawn a demand curve which is little bit steeper that means elasticity of demand own price elasticity of demand is less okay? or this demand curve or the demand curve what we have drawn in the left panel of the diagram perhaps the commodity is a necessary commodity to the customers. This service this side this is in the right panel diagram the demand curve we, are, we have drawn it is little bit flatter. So, perhaps the, the commodity for which this kind of demand curve we have drawn in the right panel uh, here uh, the commodity is a luxury commodity to the customers right. Look at here if government said same amount say rupees 5 per unit of transaction rupees 5 per unit of transaction tax amount here right. So, this distance suppose rupees 5 the same distance this distance and this distance should be same to make the rupees 5 same amount right. So, look at here in this particular case if when your your elasticity is relatively less that time look at here how much if this is the tax size this will be the amount of dead or loss. Same tax size if we consider here look at here uh, how much big the dead or loss is. Okay. So, definitely as it will be more and more elastic or demand curve will be more and more flatter. So, when we are considering or comparing here in two panels right one inelastic demand curve vis a vis one elastic demand curve under the set of this peribus condition both the cases we are considering the same sort of supply curve. Right. So, as demand curve is becoming more and more flatter for a given uh, uh, nature of the supply curve right, size of the dead weight loss is much more. Okay. So, what message we are getting here dead weight loss is a net burden to the society, net loss of the social welfare generated within the society right by that uh, uh, due to imposition of the tax by the government. Right. So, that dead weight loss will be much more or that uh, to the society if we impose this tax on a commodity which is luxurious commodity to the uh, uh, customers. Right. So, definitely now you can understand when we discuss earlier that if we target the luxurious commodity to be taxed right, perhaps the customers of the commodity they can quickly adjust their behavior right. But people who are uh, related to the industry that produce that commodity right or production sector that uh, that generate that commodity right. The people who are employed or the factors of production who are attached to that production sector right they will get the uh, pinch of that or heat of that tax right here. So, so it is not the case uh, that uh, government should target the luxurious commodity to tax rather government should target the necessary commodity okay, where elasticity of demand is relatively lesser. Okay. So, necessary kind of commodity if government impose the tax, so amount of dead weight loss will be less and that is the net loss to the society. So, in any case government has to impose some tax to earn some tax revenue to run the show. Right. So, government should judicially choose that commodity where due to imposition of the tax social welfare loss will be minimum. Okay. And of course, if we, we have a choice one uh, necessary commodity another is luxury commodity of course, we should choose the necessary commodity because their dead weight loss will be less and, and hence the total burden or social burden of the tax or burden of the tax on the society as a whole will be lower. Exactly same way we can draw two side by side panel where say suppose demand curve is the same kind of stiffness okay, relatively same kind of elastic both are the uh, inelastic demand curve we are taking both commodities are the uh, necessary commodity right. So, one case suppose this is the supply curve another case suppose this is the supply curve okay. here supply curve is elastic supply curve here supply curve is uh, relatively inelastic okay. let me draw the supply curve afresh. Okay, suppose this is the supply curve okay, and this is the demand curve. Look at here what is happening. So, same amount of tax. Okay. Look at here, here this is the dead weight loss amount, but here this is the dead weight loss amount. Okay. So, under the settled paribas condition, same sort of demand curve if we have the supply curve having more elastic. Uh, elasticity of supply or more elastic supply curve 
will be responsible for making more dead weight loss because this triangular area is the dead weight loss here this triangular area is the dead weight loss here this triangular this triangular area is the dead weight loss right. So, as uh, under the satellite peribus condition uh, given the demand curve ok same sort of demand curve if supply curve is relatively more elastic dead weight loss size will be more and more vis a vis exactly the same way given the same sort of supply curve is demand curve is more and more elastic okay, dead weight loss will be more demand curve is inelastic dead weight loss will be relatively less. And since uh, demand uh, dead weight loss is a net loss to the society loss in the welfare of the society uh, due to imposition of the tax due to distortion by the government through imposition of the tax right uh, government should choose that commodity. Uh, to being under taxation where either demand curve or supply curve where elasticity is relatively less. Let us stop here and we will discuss or we will start another uh, new phrase uh, phase chapter, chapter number 9 in the next lecture and that also we will discuss there this kind of application of this uh, dead oil loss, imposition of the tax and all those things, but in international trade scenario. Okay. Let us stop here.